These sparkles make noises. Th there is a reason why I'm in here, by the way, but it might take a few minutes before it actually appears, but... I mentioned in the main LP, or the neutral run that is, that there's a very rare encounter in here. It's not required for any run, pacifist, neutral, merciless, it's completely optional. It takes about three minutes to spawn on average, I think, so I'm just gonna hang around in here for a bit until it appears. This is gonna be fun. Here we go. Is this Pokemon? This is the first time I've seen this. So, um, well, where do we begin? Applaud Boo Nothing, and, well, I'll check it first, because what the fuck is this? Okay, high attack, high defense, well... Okay. You don't have pecs, you're a fish! Thing. That said, I mean, Undyne's a fish and she has pecs, so you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, I was gonna say, how? Well, I suppose that deserves a round of applause, I'll, I'll be nice. Sloppy claps. Yeah. Well, this is a very interesting attack. I, I, I like the fact that it comes from off screen. That did six damage, because I took four damage from a gift trot on the way here, because I am just terrible like that, but... Wow, six damage. Gorilla clap. Yeah. You're addicted to my ass. Um, that came out wrong. Ah, gonna die, gonna die, gonna die. Death, 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 don't death, please. <laughs> don't have much in the way of health restoratives. Because I'm trying to... Well, I have the nice... I'll use the nice cream. Oh, it's, it's so nice. No. Y you've had your fill of applause from me. So... I feel like booing would be too negative, so... You've had your fair share of applause. Now I'm going to give you with I will defeat you by withdrawal symptoms. Yeah, you're kind of like an ice cap, except... We did nothing worth clapping for, of, about. Don't hurt me, stop hurting me, please. Uh. Well, I could survive one more round, if, assuming I only get hit once. Here's hoping. Mm. Yeah, you're desperate. Yeah, and I'm right here! I'm ignoring you! What? The fuck was... I do, I do, but ah! Uh. I'm gonna die. <laughs> well, at least it's not that crazy attack again, and you're completely missing me. Well, I mean, to be fair, if you kill me, how am I supposed to applaud you? I'm not going to though. You get nothing. Hundred and twenty gold. Okay, that was fun. Ah, uh, dog song, how long has it been? Well... Stick! It's the... It's the stick of woof, as opposed to truth, because dog. By the way, don't move during that attack! It's so much easier to avoid because movement makes him attack. There we go! Shortcut to defeating the greater dog. Either that, or just ignore it a whole bunch of times, then it'll leave automatically. Much like that monster from just now, actually. Butt dog. Yeah! Oh, I saw you watching me this time, Flowey. I was told to go back and look for that in my original run, but I left it too late between... Like, I forgot about it, then I was reminded, and I did it too late, but there you go, that's the thing. Flowey is chasing you on this entire journey. He does that... Uh, in the first encounter with Papyrus, when you leave the ruins. Go back to the left, and he's there as well. So, Stalker Flowey is Stalker. Didn't know if that would work on, on this run as well, but... I have zero redeeming qualities! Such humility! Yeah, there are no wrong answers with Papyrus, or so it would seem. Resuming the cut because you've seen all this before. I... I don't think I was supposed to be able to activate the HUD that quickly, so... Do I get points for that? Yeah, he recognized it. Also, Egg. Well, that's dark. I don't remember if I showed that off in the neutral run or not, but you talk to this flower before you talk to him, then you'll actually see what he said the last... the last thing he said, because that's how echo flowers work. Uh, 
And then he says that. Yay! I redact my previous opinion, of course he's cool. I just said that. And another deviation from my neutral run. No, you can have it. Exactly. Where, where is that going? Like, how is that not passing straight through? You are a skeleton, good sir. Take note of this scene, by the way, it's significant. Because look, Grilby's flame has stopped, everything has stopped. This suggests that Sans has time-stopping powers. And I'm gonna go with the no-root this time, just in case. I, I feel like, yeah, that, that it's just that one dialogue box that's different, and now we're back to the main root of conversation. But yeah. Sans may be aware of the number of repeats of history that... You know how we have the power to rewind time, and so does Flowey. Maybe he has... But he's aware of it, and he can stop time by the look of it. And so, at the end of this scene, when he... When he says, I was going to say something, but I forgot, that's just him making it sound like this was all one fluid conversation without this spotlight section. So if you take this spotlight... This spotlighted bit of the conversation out, he wants it to still sound like a fluid conversation that makes sense to all the people around him who are currently frozen in time. Which also explains how he has the ability to teleport, because he actually just stops time and walks there. It's this line here. Like, the fact that he walks to the other end of the... the... bar, restaurant, pub, whatever, and says it loudly so everyone can hear just in case. Now that's... that's a cleverness. I want the fries! Hi, Elvis! Now, unless I'm quite mistaken, this doesn't work the way you expect it to. Yeah, this... it sounds like it's going to charge you three gold, but actually it gives you three gold. I don't know if you can grind money infinitely this way, it would be kind of a inefficient way of doing it, but... I mean, that's a thing you can do at least once. Well, it seems to work indefinitely, so there you go. Oh, the sass. Apparently this thing's a tonsil. Fascinating. Yay, I knew that already. Wait, what was... Yeah, he told the truth this time. So I have a feeling that no matter what you do, something's got like either if you say if you say you're wearing a tutu and then come along in a tutu, then you get this. If you say you're not wearing a tutu, Papyrus will lie and say that you are, and of course you will be. And if you say one thing and then change clothes, I'm sure it'll change as well. So that's a thing. I feel like I've shown this off recently by myself anyway, but I'll, I'll help him for her. A jazz ballad, yeah. As opposed to the sad song from last time. But yes, you can persist in this battle, and there's more stuff than what I should, because you can just hum and then, um, then let her go straight after that. Or you can stay and conduct her and it gets a little bit... Yeah, there is no electrical attack, she's just singing. The point is you can keep conducting her and this, the, the, the flavor text gets a bit... Odd. I will hum some more. See, it, it, it sort of turns into a concert and it kind of only gets out of hand from there. As does her singing. So, 
You can just leave and quit while you're ahead. Good old Sans. Or you can make the attacks harder on yourself for not- I, I think maybe you get more money at the end, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Eat by flailing something. This is... this is delightful. Yeah, it, it, uh, the, the way to progress is to keep humming, but I like to conduct every now and then because you get some text out of it. Dear, oh dear. Oh, Shiren. You are underappreciated. Okay. Oh. Not as creepy, though, as that scooter song, Panties Wanted, in fairness. Oh, the attention, the tours, the groupies. Aggressive tooting! So much toot. Maximum toot. Final toot! Thirty G. Was it worth it? I don't know. By the way, this is actually live commentary. Th this whole thing has been live commentary. I... That's just how I've been doing it, or so it would seem. I did wonder what would happen if you deployed the dog outside of this room. Turns out it it's only in your inventory in this room. Little white dog. No, oh, Toby Fox, you fuck. Now, if you drop it, it'll deploy it, but it'll say you dropped the dog instead, but I'm just going to deploy the dog. Activate! Expand dog! Delightful. And we are left with dog residue, which I, I believe each residue has... Well, there's a variety of flavor text you can get with residue. Yes. If you use it, it'll fill your inventory with... Like, it'll fill any remaining inventory slots with dog residue, and occasionally dog salad, which heals a relatively random amount of HP. Could be two, could be four, could be six, could be maximum. I'm gonna keep it on me just in case. I'm not gonna take an umbrella this time, because you get different dialogue if you do, because... Bearing in mind the monster kid has no arms, it's not like you need it to progress, you just get different text. Yeah, we can't hold an umbrella either. But what if I go back this way and get an umbrella afterwards? Messing with the system! Holy shit! Okay, I'll... I'll get... Uh, no, screw it! I'm gonna not bring an umbrella because I'm rebelling against the system! They're coming to take me away, haha! I'm going to thub you, good sir. That's the idea. Yes, we'll just stand here and make out for a while. Dear, oh dear. Oh, it's, oh yeah, just random thought. It's not raining, it's just that the ceiling's a bit leaky because it's all underground, isn't it? There is no weather down here. Well, I'll cut to when something happens. Well, I mean, you say that, but I'm not entirely convinced that she wouldn't hurt an innocent person, all things considered. Pro tip for this section, just watch the path that Undyne's walking, because that's inevitably going to lead you to where you're going to go. So it kind of defeats the maze-like aspect of this area, just follow the path underneath and you'll be fine. I think I know who you are. Your voice sounds a little bit like Cow's Elders, therefore... Are you Azrael by any chance? I'm... just... just a guess. I mean, considering we landed in a patch of golden flowers and all the stuff we know from the end of the game, just a thing to consider. I'm Jesus! I don't think this is supposed to happen, but it's happening. Yeah, that definitely wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah, broke the game a little bit. Yellow names. I got them to throw them out. Astronaut food. For feeding a pet astronaut. 
claw marks? I'm guessing it used to belong to Alphys and she like accidentally flushed it down the toilet or something. Don't know how you managed to do that, but I mean, I'm sure Alphys would find a way. Also, mad dummy. No. I'm, I'll just, yeah. Yeah, fall in love with me, asshole. This is where punctuation is important because fall in love with me, asshole, is like a pirate's way of saying, look, don't I have a nice butt? Anyway, here's what the mad dummy has to say if I don't hit it in the face this time. What, you pissed off that I didn't punch you? No. No. Yeah. Napster bloke. Spooky bloke bloke. Yeah. Well, that's that, that that's 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 some beautiful imagery right there. Are you quite finished with all those fancy words? Anyway, I shall just cut this out unless something happens. By the way, this part of the music sounds a lot like Muffet's battle theme, don't you think? Just saying. Wait, is that bit in the middle of his body, his mouth? Holy shit, that's creepy. Let me just realise that. Thought it was the top left. No, looks like the middle. Wow. Blue! In this timeline you love me because I didn't kill you in the ruins. I didn't kill you in the ruins, so in this timeline you love me. I don't know where that song came from, but there you go, that's a thing that happened. And here's the dialogue for... If he doesn't think you're a person who hurts him, you know what I'm trying to say. They have so little self-esteem that they refer to themselves in the low with a lowercase i. Oh. Lupwoods. It's Undyne's punching bag. Just consider that. Apparently they don't like the other spook. Whichever one is- I think it's spook tunes? Whichever one isn't spook wave. Well, there you go. You get this scene probably no matter which music you have playing, as long as it's not the default. I still prefer spook wave, though. I found out some stuff about Thunder Snail. First of all, it took me ages to work out that it's called that because it rhymes with Undertale. And apparently, if you encourage the snail about seven times, then that'll be enough to do well. You can win, but you get 9G if you win. Because they have to make a profit somehow. If you come second, you'll actually get, I think, 33G? It's not easy. These buckles do the thing too! Mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? Yeah, if you're careful with how you manage your, um, dialogue when selling stuff at the Temi shop, you could actually make a significant profit. Like, you could sell it for double, depending on the dialogue. So, just a thing to consider. I'm, I'm gonna sell off all of my old equipment because I don't have need of them. I'm sorry. 
I like how it looks like I'm a human head on a flower's body. Just, a, just an observation. Rumor has it that she actually only doesn't tell us that story because she forgot what she was supposed to say. And that's funny. And now for some different dialogue because this time we didn't kill anyone! Whoa! You have no reason to hurt us because we're innocent! And oh come on, we know what Alphys' history books are. They're just manga and anime and various other things. And that isn't quite what happened. And also, th th that was me being innocent, you fishy fuck. Well, actually, I was unhugging them because mold big, one size larger than mold average. Well, that's kind of rude. But I, I can't argue with that. I mean, with, with my Asgore, so. Uh. Well. From here onwards, it's going to be the same as my neutral run, so if you want to see the Undyne fight, there is literally an entire episode dedicated to it, so it's, what, episode 12, I want to say, maybe? The Undyne special, go and look it up. Oh, she laughs like an anime, because she goes foo hoo 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 Haha. <laughs> I got cocky. Well, that's that's some piano music. Well, here we are, some new content that's completely new, and it would be blind, but I kind of saw it on one of the Star Jazz streams, but it's okay, because it prepared me for this. It's fine, I don't mind being spoiled on it, because it's nothing... Well, it's a major event in that it's an undying date, kind of like the Papyrus date, but it's not major, like it doesn't reveal any major plot spoilers, so I was okay with it. Oh right, yes, that mind you, duh. So yeah, this... This is the thing. You know, Papyrus says, oh, we should hang out with Undyne sometime. And in a neutral run, or... Well, I don't know about the merciless runs, but... In a neutral run, she says she doesn't hang out with murderers. Well, we're not murderers. Private training. So one-on-one, -on -one, in fact, that he brought a friend! Hello, fish lady. That face. That onesie. Well, it's not a onesie, it's a... It's not... <laughs> Undyne in a onesie, I want to see this now, but... That's an outfit. Yes, why don't we? Ah, oh, he's so happy. This is a nice house. Yes, I brought a gift of my own volition. Gold bone. That's a lot of gold bones. Or yellow bones. Or whatever they are. Whoopsie doop! <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie! That's that's glorious. Uh, you are a skeleton. Don't be upset. You have some spaghetti. Oh my fuck! He actually does smash through the window as well. That's that that that, that, that makes more that made more sense than I had intended. Oh no, fish lady. Although that outfit suits you more than the armor, and I'm not saying that from a pervy standpoint because if you want to wear armor, that's perfectly fine. I'm just saying you have a nice body. I mean, if I had to pick someone from Undertale to date, I would I would prefer Alphys, but I mean... I'm digging myself into a hole, aren't I? Well, let's let's be friends is... Yes! Friend me! Yes, we shall frolic in the fields of friendship! Oh, you raised my hopes and dashed them quite expertly, madam. Bravo! Well, at least you have some courtesy. Well, I mean, you say that, but... Papyrus, can you help instead of abandoning... Uh, thank you. Yeah, clearly she's not up to the challenge. That's that's literally his line of logic. That is lovely. When I watched the stream, I was paying more attention to the, the game itself than the, the dialogue, so... I'm surprised that I managed to got, to, to got that, to get the, but the bear. We're playing to your pride, my dear. Could you, though? You're going to friend me so hardcore. Besties! That, 
that's a precious face! Although her dialogue face isn't quite so much. We got banana ass hair. Well, okay, I mean... The internet seems to consider you a sexy fish, so... I'll, I'll just have a seat. I don't want to progress, though, I want to look at the other stuff. That's not our history! That's anime! And... I won't crush your dreams, though! Dear, oh dear. Wow. Just... I just wow. That... I... J hot fr... That sounds like something that Mackenzie from Touch Detective would say. Hot fridge. Foods, forks, that tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Why? All of your attacks are magic based. Top of the. Metazone is literally everywhere. Well, you say that, but you could only wield spear magic, and it's a, it's a bit different. Take up in the shape of a fish. It's precious. Oh. But Metaton doesn't even have a mouth! But... Well then. But... Bearing in mind, Metaton, at this point in the timeline, is still in his calculator body. That is, that is some A-plus body positivity right there. Just reclining seductively on a piano, eating grapes, and just generally feeling sexy. Okay, well, time to progress. I suppose. Yeah, why not? Oh. 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 Um. I. Okay, then. Apparently my grandfather on my father's side had a, a, a system similar to this where Oh, you're having a bad time? No, be happy because I said so. It's something like that. Sugar goes in tea. Yes, I will just have a cup of sugar. Boo. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, actually. To be fair, that is kind of how it feels with social anxiety, just saying. Can I... Can I drink you... Yes. Um. Yeah, and th that doesn't. That looks like a, a very different kind of sickly yellow liquid. Yeah. That is the adorable fishy face. Why did you? What? Oh, oh that's such a precious image. Can I eat your sword? Well, fuck you too. Yes, I want to eat the entire fridge. Tea, but yet, yeah, blatantly correct choice, and not just because I'm British. Tea is best thing. Where is the tea, woman? I have been made to wait for more than five seconds. This is unacceptable. You have a Brit for a house guest, so you should be able to just ping your fingers and suddenly tea. Rude! That's a weird kettle. Also, by the way, why the fuck are you putting a teapot on the stove? Do you not know how to make tea? Do you not have a kettle? Holy shit. Primitive. No wonder they call you monsters down here. Of course it's hot, that's the way tea is best served. Just do it! Other than that, it's pretty good. You didn't even put milk in it, you fuck! Fortunately, as a Brit, I always bring an emergency supply of, of tea supplies and paraphernalia in my leg drawer. Y you know, the leg drawer. You know how you have a little handle on, on the side of your right thigh? You can just pull it open, you keep stuff in there, or is, is, that, is that just a British thing? Oh, golden flower. Awkward. Awkward. Maximum awkward. Weenie. <laughs> Don't know why I find that amusing. But yeah, leg drawer, where we keep tea paraphernalia. 
Implying you're not hot-headed now. Also, it's this music. Ah, it's the music box and the piano thing. Wait, so you tried to fight Asgore when you were a toddler. Wow. Oh, well, I managed it, so... Oh, well, well, I had the honour of him trying to kill me that one time, but hasn't happened yet because timelines. Oh. Clever. Oh, Asgore is such a fucking cinnamon roll! Wait, I just got the thing she was saying about her bedroom. No nerds allowed, but Alphys is a nerd and I've, I, I ship it, I ship it so much. Because Alphys deserves as good as possible. And Undyne seems adequate for her and vice versa. Oh, right, yeah, the, the, we're talking about Papyrus, aren't we? So we've got lost on a tangent about how Alphys is a stereotypical nerd, but we've not met her in this timeline yet. Too nice? Innocent and nice. Close enough. Yeah, but then we ended up dating him instead. It's not his fault, it's just I've spent, like, a considerable chunk of this year training under Q Sugar Dust. I am a natural-born love fairy, or so it would seem. Oh, and his one-on-one -on -one training is cooking instead of fighting, that's... That's nice. Well, my dear, I I've spoken about leg drawers. I'm never out of tea. You appear to have stopped. Wait a fuck. He was supposed to have a cooking lesson! That's kind of not how it works, but okay. Dramatic. Unnecessarily dramatic! Wait, so... Right, are you talking about friendship, or are you trying to get into his skeleton pants? Because I ship you with Alphys. And she's anime laughing again. Okay, just pick me up by my scalp, that's fine. Sauce. Various fruit and a carrot. Uh. Wimpy Pound! Pet the vegetables in the. Oh, don't make me grow attached. <laughs> I want this dialogue box on a t shirt! Um. Carrots don't splat, but, um. Okay. By the way, I've had a, one of the auditions that I received for the um, for the voice acting thing for the pacifist finale is portrayed Undyne as a New Jersey accent thing, and I think that fits so well. But we ended up going with someone else instead because reasons. I will be gentle with these glorious noodles one at a time. Clinkety clankety clue, nice. Well, of course, because that's violent. I would stir more vigorously, but my hands are cold because it's cold and I'm in the north and... Yeah. You're just probably going to smash the pot, aren't you? I know her so well! Uh, I... Okay, let's... let's overdo it. I, I'm going to turn into a combustible lemon and burn your house down, my dear. Yeah, left, you fool! Um, again, that's not how it works. Okay. Apparently I am a combustible lemon. How is the sauce on fire? So... That happened. 
Yeah, considering your house is about to, um... I like you adequately, It's it, this is literally just you that's the problem. Well, now what? <laughs> I remember this happening in the stream, but I don't remember how to do in response. Oh wait, no, hang on. Bearing in mind we're fighting inside a burning building, I feel like this won't end well. Yeah. Nope. 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 Nobody nope. I shall fake attack. Boop. You wimp. You took damage from that. Yeah, how about you train me a little or something? Because... You lovely fish. Well, I mean... You could be lovelier, but... Transparent ear fin thing. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take a big run up and go for a huge deductive leap here. But did Azrael come to you for training? Or well, it could have been the first human, but still. Dear oh dear. Why could... Well, I mean, that's... That's pretty much what you said in the neutral ending, or at least the one that I got, so... Yeah, pretty much, so... Just just thinking... Character dynamics. Oh, that... that Poor darling house. I'm just thinking... Undyne is Chloe, Papyrus is um, Penelope, and I am Mackenzie. And then Sans is... Sans is fungi! <laughs> oomph, oomph. And, yes, now whenever we call Papyrus, Undyne will also be there, so you get completely different dialogue for anywhere that you might happen to choose to use the phone. Oh, house. <laughs> Only Fire lives here now. Well, I'd like to at least step in and look inside her room. Oh, it's, it's still it's still going. Lovely. Well, that's that. Wait, hang on. I hope I haven't missed it. Yeah, I missed it. If you call her immediately after that, then you could actually hear her arriving at Papyrus's house. I fucked it up. I apologize, but there we go. Anyway, back to the less interesting parts of the story. Well, Insofar as it's nothing that you haven't already seen if you watch the rest of the LP up to this point. 